Hey there, I am going to do a 24 by 36 black canvas. I bought it this way from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby, probably Michaels. And all the colors that I have today, this rainbow of colors, are Deco Art Americana. And um, I'm going to mix them a one to one ratio with Oatrol Easy Flow which is similar to Floetrol. This is a European company and they offer their product through Amazon or through their website so it's hard to find in the United States. And the, um, the company graciously has given me some product to use and I am promoting it because it's very good quality. It flows easy it it does not crack or craze that I've had any instances of it happening especially with the swiping technique you're using actually very little paint with this method where I like to do the swiping feathery kind of look and um, all my colors that I have mixed up I mixed up in a cup first with the Oatrol one-to-one and with the bottle paints, you really don't need to add water at all. The only time you might would add water is if you use a metallic. And I have three metallics that are copper, splendid gold, and rich espresso, which is kind of a bronze color. So those, oh, and well, the premium in the tube, it is a little bit more of an art or artist grade paint and so this has probably some water added to that. Otherwise everything is just paint and oatrol. So I'm um, I have kind of a general idea of what I want to do. Tropical, leafy, but very colorful and uh, I'm known to do kind of the feathery kind of look and, and I'm going to do that swiping style but I'm going to try to do it a little bit different today and it may not end up quite the way I envision it because a lot of times fluid art is never totally you know 100% predictable. You can't really control it as much as you would like to. All the colors do have a drop of Spot on treadmill lubricant, probably a drop per ounce of paint and Oatrol mixture. I do shake all my bottles, which probably uh, lends to help with these smaller cells. So, again, that's Oatrol I used. And just very quickly, I'm going to go through the colors. I'm not going to use all these colors today, but there are, they are in squeeze bottles to my right here. and. I'm going to just go with my gut as I paint because I do like to just kind of let it flow and I'm not going to talk while I paint. I am going to mention that uh, I'm going to put a light coat of black on the canvas initially. Whatever colors I end up using I will definitely list at the bottom of the video under show more. There will be an Amazon link for all the products I use usually and there also will be a deco art list of colors at the very bottom of the page. So it's titanium white, lamp black, cadmium yellow, orange flame, sweet mint, sour apple, festive green, evergreen, bright blue, ultra blue deep, bluegrass green, desert turquoise, peacock teal, true red, carousel pink, alizarin crimson, burnt sienna,
purple ring, dioxazine purple. I do have push pins under my canvas that keep it off the table. You know, about you know enough to get your hands underneath. This is not like a typical pour painting where I'm going to be tilting it and all that stuff. So there really won't be any spillage on the table. But I do let the paint go over the edge if the design takes it that way, and so there might be some on the edges. But it's not a super messy style of painting. The tools that I'll be using typically are my little three pack plastic scrapers that have had plenty of wear and tear that were about three dollars from the hardware store. They're also in the link on Amazon. I have a very used but very crafty little tool. It's an old store card. I have this pool trowel and I have my typical straw skewer. You don't waste a lot of paint. You've got a lot of paint mixed in your bottles, but you don't waste a lot off of the painting. I am going to put gloves on. You may see me stand this way, and you may see me stand at the end of the painting. So this is kind of thicker. Um, so I'm not sure. it's spreading pretty good. Okay. I have a tendency to not I don't make my um, paint an electro mixture. I don't make it very thin because you are squirting out of a bottle and you don't want it to be so runny that all of your colors run together. You do want it to have a little bit of um, some body to it. So that's why I say, especially with the deco art paints, is not to add water. So today what I'm really aiming to do is an abstract. I always aim to make it look a little bit more abstract, but with intention. So I'm not letting the paint totally control the situation. I'm trying to control the paint to some degree. And so today I'm trying to go for a little bit of a plant type look, tropical. This was a request from one of my YouTube followers. So we're going to see, I'm going to see how it turns out, and then if it turns out the way I like it, then I'll let you know if that's the way the plant looks. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's always make-believe anyway, because it's an abstract interpretation of whatever I'm trying to paint, right? Use dioxazine purple, true red. This is the primary magenta, and that's burnt sienna. Blue deep. keep changing my mind on what color I want to swipe with. But I really, I want that red to come out. So this is, I've done several layers of red. Just making sure. I 
maybe I maybe I will use my full trowel. We'll see how this goes. So the next layers, I am not going to use the pull trowel. I'm going to switch to the smaller trowel because I want more control. And I'm going to vary the colors and they're going to overlap each other. And I'm curious how that will play out. But I want to use my scraper as my tool and because I can do a much lighter pressure than I can with the pull trowel that requires gliding over the surface pretty firmly and with this you can just do a very soft feather touch so that's my next layer is to be done using this with more of a feathery touch Again, these cheaper bottles are more frustrating to work with because they have a larger opening and you have less control than the nicer squeeze bottles that have the smaller openings and they have a screw-on lid. These are so much better to control with. Using the same colors. This time I'm not going to put the burnt sienna or black in this layer. Trying to go thicker with the red on this one too, that's why I put as much. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to put a little bit of metallic gold in as well. I don't know that it will show up, but we're going to see what we can come up with.
use my bigger, the bigger one. Yeah, that way I can extend it more as I turn it. Also, this is half of a sheet protector. Two of them were attached and I cut the edges off, but you slide a sheet of paper inside, like if you're turning in a report or something for work and you want your regular copy paper to be protected, you put it between two of these. These are called sheet protectors. These are fabulous to put paint pours or drippings on because it peels right off when it's dry. This is a piece of cardboard I was using the other day. I'm going to put my little piece of plastic on the corner here. That way I can scrape off what I'm taking off of here sometimes just to get some beautiful colors here. But I do wipe every time I you know, do a swipe, I wipe off. Beautiful colors. So I wish I had a thinner layer of purple, but that's okay. time. I wish I had a more golden color and not the bright yellow. This metallic gold. It's not going to be so bright. That's what I don't like about these big bottles is sometimes they just spit out paint <laughs> when you're not wanting it to. like this big blob right there. This one I want. So now I'm switching gears.
try one before I do all these to make sure I get the effect that I want. So I like that. I'm going to try to do two sides that way, if I can achieve that look. This is the Peacock Teal with Evergreen and some Ultra Blue Deep. to turn the canvas. Because I can't quite get the angle I need. colorful and you know me I typically go for lots of color so A little muddy in the colors here, but I'm not really, really worried about it because I want variations of the colors I'm using. Darks and light, and that kind of thing.
So I did not like this one here at all. So I'm going to totally redo this one here. I can I can deal with the other ones and their imperfections. Did put a lot in this one area, that's for sure. So I'm going to do here is widen this leaf. So you, if you touch it, then it goes through to the layer below, which has the reds and oranges and purples and stuff down there.
Okay, so it's, I think I'm done. It's kind of wild and crazy all over the place. Um, So what I was trying to paint in an abstract kind of way is the croton plant. Someone had requested that. It's a very tropical multicolored leaf. It comes in reds and greens. There's different variations. Some, some of them are just strictly greens and yellows. This one had a lot of red in it. And so I just wanted a kind of a variation of those colors and so there it is. There's my croton plant and it's kind of wild and all over the place but I hope you enjoyed it and if you like please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.